All my Cancer Sun Virgo Moons, this is your 2019 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates, my info, email or below. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. So it doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments. So be sure to post yours up. The first portion of this will be me reading the textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign. So uh, refer to the source I credited below. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. The second portion will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers. I'll be separating the year into four quadrants. Other things to mention, I'm on Instant Go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, hit me up on there. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, so like, follow, and um, message me. And I post my weeklies to that. Check out my playlist for my 2018 Sun Moon readings. See if they rang true for you. And then finally, I'll be working on compatibility readings in my playlist indefinitely from now to the end of time. So check those out also. So Sun and Cancer, Moon and Virgo, the combination of your Sun sign and your Moon sign suggests a strengthening of the common traits between these two, such as conventional conventionality, caution, and unpretentiousness. The blend focuses the emotional sensitivity of cancer with the discrimination and practicality of Virgo. You appeal to people because you seem to have, have such solid control on matters, expressing the ability to reason out with particular emotional concern and caring. You try hard to appear sure of yourself and manage your affairs with a cool, calm, and practical head. You don't make decisions until you have a chance to reflect on the situation and make certain you make the right choice. Early on, you may have been especially shy and prudent in your behavior, seemingly unsure of yourself. Confidence increases as you mature because of an innate desire to absorb knowledge and master details of all sorts. You rationalize and analyze things very well. This talent, notwithstanding your snap judgments and hunches, often miss the mark, especially when you are judging people. Yet, when you give yourself time, you are especially skilled at sensing the needs of other people. You have a natural inclination to serving the needs of the public in some way. You handle authority well because you respect principles, codes, laws, and tradition. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit Angels, Sign Guides Universe, can you please show me January, February, March for Cancer Sun, Virgo Moons, 2019. January, February, March. Okay, you guys have the Eight of Cups in the reversed. Can you please show me April, May, June? That's your son, Virgo Moons. April, May, June. I have two friends that are Virgo Moons, and I'm always like, Virgo Moon! Because <laughs> there's that a single detail that doesn't get by them. Um, July, August, September. July, August, September. Okay, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. And I also don't like people encroaching on their space, my Virgo Moon friends. Get really uptight if people just like park chairs too close to them or don't respect their space. Um, alrighty, so that always makes me laugh. Alrighty, so you guys, um, we start off the beginning of the year. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. You guys keep on returning back to something. You can't let go. I don't know if you guys don't have closure in regards to something. Um, and, and when you go back, um, you're looking for answers, but you don't really get the answers. You go back, you kind of drift around, you're confused, you're drifting aimlessly. You might, you might leave and then you come back again, kind of looking for the answers, looking for the closure. I don't feel that you're kind of getting it. Um, for others of you, if it, believe it or not, the Eight of Cups can be about fearing intimacy, so um, being afraid to get close. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing confusion in the beginning of the year, not getting the answers, not getting the closure that you need, even though you keep on coming back to something instead of kind of letting go of it and realize it's, it's not serving you. Um, April, May, June brings the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is... Uh, for some of you guys, you could actually be doing uh, manual labor of some sort, really backbreaking hard work during this period of time. I always think like um, construction or something like that. Um, or you could be working on something very, very hard and, and it requires... Um, it requires physical strength in order for you to do it okay sometimes I feel like he's working like on a house because there's a house here in the background so some of you might be working on improving a property um, but overall it, it's about uh, you guys kind of taking on responsibilities that aren't yours um, 
you know, you should be you should be handing it off to other people, but you aren't doing that. Um, it can also be you're taking on a lot of responsibilities and nobody's rewarding you for doing this stuff, so it's kind of thankless. So uh, that's what I see for April, May, June. July, August, September, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Not the best card to have. Um, the Two of Cups in reverse is about two people having a lack of understanding, um, not no longer seeing eye to eye. There could be arguments happening. There could be a separation. There could be a breakup, okay? The Two of Cups also talks about secrets and infidelity. So um, somebody could be being dishonest within a relationship that you have. Does not have to be a love relationship. Could be any kind of relationship you have. So business partnership, a friendship, what have you. Okay. So just be careful of that in July, August, September. October, November, December, things are going to be moving very quickly, okay? Um, you could be having a lot of communications with a person, an entity. I always get with the Eight of Wands, though. The one person is very enthusiastic in terms of the communication, and the other person still communicating back, but the response level is a little bit off. So one person's very excited, talking about moving things forward, wants to do things, and the other person's like, yeah, okay, you know, we can do that. Um, but isn't the, the communication doesn't match for me for the Eight of Wands. Um, for others of you, it's just quick forward movement, quick change, quick action going on. Um, it could be a whirlwind romance for some of you guys. It just comes in, it just sweeps you off your feet. Everything happens very quickly, okay? And then for others of you, you could be doing air travel in October, November, December. So click on the link below. It'll take you to the Vimeo reading where I will be going over these um, and, and pulling clarifiers so we can get a better look at your 2019. Keep in mind if it resonated, consider personal reading, rates, info, email, just shoot me an email and I will set it up for you. Otherwise, good luck to you guys in 2019. Bye.